Morning mates, welcome back. Simply Whitby, we're out on a walkabout and I'm going to one of my favourite places in Whitby. Yes, my very favourite places, which is the Whitby Deli. The Whitby Deli and it's on Flowergate, but I'm here on uh, Skinner Street. Can you see the sign behind? And I'm going to, uh, right outside the Granby, it's all been done up, it's all been painted, it looks lovely. If you haven't been in the Granby, give it a go, it's a good locals pub. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a walk down to the Whitby Deli and then we're gonna go in and have a cup of coffee and show you around the place. So let's twizzle this round and let's walk down Skinner Street, uh, show you the Granby, show you bottoms and all the rest of the uh, niceties up here. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> you cabbage. Right, here we go. It's starting to rain, so uh, We'll get a shimmy on here. Provisions, groceries and tea experts here. Am I going to get run over? Ooh. Ooh, the sun's out. There's Bottoms. Shall we show you their Easter window? Come on, let's show you their Easter window. <laughs> Honestly, here, yeah. fancy this, this is perfect for what we've been nipping about. Please recharge every night. Cranberry Swamp, I haven't been in there for ages, but I hear really good reports about it. Very nice. Uh, let's get down here. If you come up this way, if you come up, this is Skinner Street, all the way down it's Skinner Street, from top to bottom. And uh, yeah, it's one of those places that I'm not sure people always wander out to. A lot of people come and just stay down at the bottom, don't they? On Pier Road and... And it's a shame because there's some nice shops up here and nice places to go and we got the sun on us, which I hope it's not going to ruin the camera. Camera shots, I hope not. But we're doing it anyway. Oops, nearly tripped up then. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? Now, there's an interesting place here. I'm going to cross over the road to show you this properly so we can get the sun in the right direction. That's it. The Jet Black Jewel. Uh, a couple of people have told me that's uh, the best breakfast grub in Whitby. Yes, the best breakfast grub, but you can get drinks, cocktails, hot chocolates. You mention it, you can get it in there. Looks lovely. They've got accommodation. Uh, I'm not sure about the accommodation. I, I have no knowledge of it. I'm sure it's very nice. Uh, Jet Black Jewel guest entrance there. So if you're up this way, give them a try. I will be doing a review in there at some stage. And why not? And why not indeed? We've got the Arch and Abbey here, micro pub. A little bit bigger than a micro pub, but very nice in there. Nice staff, nice people. I don't get in as much as I used to do. I don't know why. You know what it's like. I go where the beer's cheap, me. Cheapskate, always a cheapskate. I was a cheapskate, I'm still a cheapskate. That's a beautiful house, isn't it? Back St. St. Hilda's uh, Terrace, it was up for sale a while ago. Wow. And they always got lovely stuff in the window. There, yeah, they've got an Easter, uh, Easter window set up. It's called Highgate House. How's that, mate? Looks lovely, doesn't it? Shall we get a bit closer and show you? Can we see that? I hope so. There's the resolution. Changed everything round in there. All these are going to be rooms upstairs now. That used to be a bar. The bar's now downstairs and it's called the Vaults. And I've uh, been in there once. It was a little bit expensive for my liking, but lovely in there. You know, you can't fault it. Uh, it. It was slightly chaotic with the food when I went, but I think it was the first or second night they'd been opened. And apparently they've got things straightened out and it's all good to go. And uh, right, here we are. Uh, that's the Flowergate United Reformed Church. Bits and pizzas. And this place here is my favourite. The coffee in here is absolutely fantastic. Lovely staff. What's not to like? If you fancy doing a bit of tapas when you're at home, you know, uh, this is the place to come. You can get your olives, your cheeses, meats, the wine, the lot you can get here. And um, yeah, they, they, they serve a little bit of, uh, well, I won't say food, but look, best thing is, I'll try, yeah, 
there's more cars, more cars, I can't get over, more cars. Best thing is, I'll take you in the place and show you what it's all about. There you are, mates, the Whitby Deli. See you later. Keep well. We'll get in. What are you on about? <laughs> you cabbage. Come on, let's get in. Hi, right, mates, we're back in the Whitby Deli. Look at this lot here. <laughs> Nice, eh? I think those are olives stuffed with garlic. Couscous, a bit of coleslaw. That looks like peas pudding. Is that peas pudding? Um, Down at the back there. Looks like peas pudding to me. Lovely cheeses. The pate in here is to die for. Absolutely to die for. Lovely cooked meats. Focaccia, is it how you pronounce it? Focaccia? Moroccan sweet potato chickpea rolls. These scotch eggs are to die for, happy belly. They used to do one with um, black pudding in it, but I don't know which one it is. Caramelised onions, chicken and chorizo. That's the one, pork and black pudding. Give it a try. Lovely sausage rolls, look at that. Nice coffee. I won't get you on camera. You're not on. Coffee machine, look at all that lot. So I've just bobbed in for a coffee today, nice and early. Bit of cake, maple and butternut squash. Yeah, all of them. Croissants, I don't, what do they call those? Those little pastries, custard things, I don't know. And then, uh, yeah, what else we got? Pale ales, margarita, what's that? More house, oh, that's apt, isn't it? More house. Lots of lovely wines. Beautiful. Let's go up here. Oh, nearly got you. But not quite. Look at them. What are them? Chocolate sardines? <laughs> yeah, I prefer the real thing myself, but there you go. And then they've got their own uh, Whitby Deli chutneys, real ale chutney, raspberry jam, spicy tomato, onion. Yeah, all of that business. Nice. Nice. And now, they're doing a bit of, bit of grub, so you can have a nice coffee, uh, which I've got uh, here. Uh, you can have a little drinky poos, if you want. And you can have uh, a menu, limited, but the trick is to make sure it's good, and it's absolutely spot on. So you can see the menu there, can you read that? Sharing boards, me and Mrs M's going to come in and have a sharing board as soon as she's back in uh, Twitter's order and pay at the counter. So without further ado, that's it. The Whitby Deli. Get yourself in here. See what it's all about. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you later, everybody. Chin chin. Right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that review. I did. Uh, right, we're going to get a wristband in. It's about time I did one. I haven't done in a little while. I'm on Cliff Street. I'm outside uh, the um, Dutch trader's house, as you can see. Tilt it. Yeah, you can see. You can see right at the foot of the paddock stairs. And I've got one hidden down Bakehouse Yard. So let's twizzle it round. Let's put my camera down so I can see where we're going. Let's get over and show you where it is. Lots of lovely people uh, bumped into today. Who watch the channel? Always nice to see people. Always nice when they say hello. It's nice for them not to see me uh, sat at the bar in a pub, isn't it? <laughs> right, here we are. Right, you see this thing here? Right, here we are. I'll give you the view. Bakehouse Yard. Come down here. Get this here. This shrubbery. Can you see it? It's in there. Right, that's it my friends, I hope you find it, and uh, right, I'm off home, I'm off home for a sandwich, I'll see you later, keep well, chin chin.